It's Goosey, it's Goss. It's Goosey, it's Goss. It's Goosey, Goss. Which one was Goosey again? This one. Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Today we are looking at the Goosey and Goss One Plus One Gabriola Stroller. Now this is a versatile modular stroller. You can start it out as a travel system, turn it into a single stroller, or even a double stroller. It even does a double travel system, so it's very versatile, has 10 different configurations, and a lot of things that I have to show you. Now let's start with the seat. The seat, it's kind of a roomy seat. It's 13 inches wide, has a 20 inch seat back, and a seat back to the canopy measurement of 23 inches. So with the short seat back, it's better for wider kids than it is for taller kids. It has an eight inch leg drop and that's from where the seat breaks to where they place their feet. For the longer leg kids, they can place their feet on this lower foot rest if they would like. The foot, just, the foot rest is adjustable into many different positions depending on the comfort of your child. There's a baby bumper bar. It's a swing away baby bumper bar that is fully removable. What I love about it is that it's canvas covered like the seat as opposed to foam because when it's foam babies chew on it they get them off the foam it's bad news and this piece is also removable so you could wash it if it got too dirty there is a non-padded five point harness that is adjustable to grow with your child there is a three position recline and it is a two-handed recline i went to go back here because that's the kind of recline i like but two buttons on either side very easy to do you push them and it goes back into three different positions. That is fully reclined. What they, they do say you can put a newborn in the seat. So the seat keeps its wide V shape, but it is a deep recline. Then halfway up, and that's as upright as the seat gets, just so that you know that. Um, it also is a reversible seat. So you just have to push two buttons on either side. The seat pops up, and you just put it right back into like that, and it still has the same three reclined positions in parent-facing mode. Now let's talk canopy. The canopy on the One Plus One, it's a large canopy. It has a pop-out sun visor that you could tuck in, and while it looks large like this, there is an additional panel that if you unzip it, it's gonna give you a whole lot more sun coverage. So this is a full coverage canopy. Now you know how I told you that the back of the seat wasn't a very tall measurement, right? But yet the seat has a 55 pound weight um, capacity. So if I have a taller child on the, in there, here's what I do. And this isn't what you're supposed to do, but hey, it works. So the canopy, it zipped right to the frame, but there is a zipper, so I unzip it as if I'm taking off the canopy. And you know what? I just move the canopy up the frame. Again, not really what it's meant to do, but it works if you just attach it on the side. This is gonna give your taller children sun coverage, but not have them hitting the canopy. So it works, you just have to make sure you get it hooked on both sides, like that. So if you wanna kinda of cheat the system and put a taller child in there, that will work just fine. On the top of the canopy, there is a peekaboo window. It does have Velcro though. I would love to see a magnetic closure because I like noisy Velcro on a stroller. It is shaded so that you can see in at your child, but the sun isn't gonna shine in on them too brightly. Now the handlebar, the handlebar is adjustable for taller and shorter parents. It goes with two buttons all the way down here to 29 inches from ground to where I place my hands, all the way up to 42 inches for the taller parents. The foam, the handlebar is covered with foam, so be careful when you are transporting it that you don't hit this on concrete too much. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the stroller. Let's look. start with the wheels first. The wheels, the rear wheels are air-filled tires. My only beef with Goosey and Gus is they don't include a tire pump. I would like a tire pump out of the box because if these tires aren't filled, I'm gonna have to go searching for a bike pump, which not everybody has. So they are great wheels for all terrain though because they are air-filled. They're 11 inches, so they are large, pretty much an in-charge for when you're going through grass, playground mulch, or anything like that. These front ones, they're six and a half inch hard rubber wheels. They are swivel wheels. They have the ability to lock straight very easily. You just have to step down on them individually and that's gonna lock them straight. Again, if you're going over all terrain, I highly recommend locking those front wheels. Now look at this basket. This basket is ginormous. And if it's in singles mode, you're gonna have all of this glorious basket real estate to put all the stuff that you need for baby. It's very accessible, even with the seat fully reclined. And what I like is, I'll show you the front here. Let's say you have a second rider in the back. 
You can still access the basket from the front. There's a little zipper right here that will let you get in and out of the basket this way. So they've thought of you and your storage on this stroller. One more thing I wanted to mention before we get into maneuverability is the stroller is wide. It is 27 inches wide at the widest part in the back, and that's pretty wide for a single inline stroller. But what it does is it gives the stroller stability. So when you have a second rider or you have a, a top rider, the stroller is going to be very stable. You never have to worry about it tipping. But I did want to mention the back of it is quite wide. When we're talking about strollers, we always want to know how easy is it to push. Well, the one plus one Gabriola, it's easy to push. It is. But here's the thing. The stroller is heavy, heavy with a capital H. I'm telling you, it's 35 and a half pounds in singles mode. So that's a heavy stroller. So while if there was a young baby, I could maneuver it one hand, but I can definitely feel the weight. If I get a heavier child in there, I'm definitely going to need two hands. Now, if it's in doubles mode, it's 44 and a half pounds with empty seats. That's right, that doesn't even count the weight of the children. And the stroller can accommodate up to 100 pounds, 55 pounds in the top seat, 45 pounds in the rear seat. So 100 pounds plus 44 and a half for the weight of the stroller, we're talking a pretty heavy push here. So I just want to put that out there when you're folding it, putting it in your car, that's a lot of weight to be carrying. So you might want to remove the seat in order to fold it to get it in and out of your trunk. Like I said at the beginning, the, the stroller does become a travel system. There is a universal car seat adapter that is sold separately that you can put a car seat up at the top or a car seat at the bottom. I'm not going to show you that today because I want to keep the review rather short. So let's just show you how the stroller folds. First, you want to put the brake on. There is a one-touch brake. You just step down on it. That's going to lock the stroller into place. There is a lever here. It's a safety latch. Oh, and you can fold it with the seat attached. Pull that up, pull these two levers up like that, and it folds down flat. Now, it's not a very compact package. As you can see, it's very long. If you wanted it more compact, you'd take the seat off and stack them. I do love the fact that there's an automatic lock over there so that it's automatically locked, so it's not an extra step I need to do. It does not have a standing fold, and like I said, at 35 pounds, it is a beast of a stroller. I just want to get that across to you and unlock the stroller. This is how you unfold it, very easy. Unlock it, and you just pop it open until it locks into place and you're ready to go. So very easy to fold and unfold. Now let's show it to you in doubles mode. Now the great thing about the one plus one, which makes it the one plus one, is that it turns into an inline double. Get the second seat, and what's great about the second seat is it's the exact same size as the top seat. So they're interchangeable, you don't have to worry what's the top seat, what's the lower seat. They're both the exact same, same measurements, same five-point harness. It even has the baby bumper bar and the big giant canopy. And this is a big canopy for a bottom seat. There are two attachments down here, and they are always there. All you have to do is take the canvas covers off, which are attached, which I love, so you don't have to worry about losing those. Then you pop in the seat. What I love is that the seat reclines. It still has three positions. You recline the same way as the top seat. Just push the two buttons on either side and you have yourself a reclining seat. You can do all kinds of different configurations. Like I said, up to 10 configurations. You could reverse this seat. They could look at each other. I would suggest not putting a toddler here because someone might get kicked in the face. So if they're, you know, they get along, you could face them towards each other. There is still room. Um, like most inlines, there's still room. So the child's not gonna feel very claustrophobic back there. This bottom seat has a weight capacity of 45 pounds. It doesn't have to do with the seat, it has to do with the positioning on the stroller and the attachments just so that it stays stable. So 45 pounds here, 55 pounds here. It's important to note that you do have to remove the second seat in order to fold the stroller. Also, it comes with rain covers. If you decide to get both seats, you get two rain covers, one for each seat. Also, there it has full suspension, so it is going to absorb the bumps when you're going on all terrain. Overall, I really like the One Plus One Gabriola. I love the fact that these canopies are huge. I like the adjustable handle. The basket in singles mode, ginormous. And the fact that the, both seats have reclines and all kinds of versatile positions that you can put them in. So there you go. That's my look at the Guzzi and Gaz One Plus One Gabriola. And I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com.